Hello to all. Today we are going to discuss a very very important tool used in the genetic engineering. Without that, the genetic engineering is not possible, and that is known as the passenger DNA. This passenger DNA is also called as the foreign DNA or the target DNA or the source DNA or the desired DNA or the alien DNA. All are the same names which are used for the passenger DNA. Again, I am repeating. Passenger DNA is also called as the foreign DNA. Means it is the gene of interest. Okay. It is also called as the target or the source DNA. Also called as the desired DNA or the alien DNA. Okay. Means I want to say that DNA which is joined with the vehicle DNA or the vector DNA and it is transferred from the one organism to the another organism is called as the passenger DNA. Okay. That DNA. Which is joined with the vector DNA and is transferred from one organism to another organism is called as the passenger DNA. Now, one thing you must remember that the most important technology in the modern times used in genetic engineering is the recombinant DNA technology. And we know that how the recombinant DNA is formed. So when the passenger DNA or the desired DNA is joined with the vector DNA that is the vehicle DNA with the help of the DNA ligase enzyme then a new DNA is constructed and that is known as the recombinant DNA which is later introduced into the host cell okay so passenger DNA is very very important tool used in the genetic engineering now a big question arises that which type of the DNA can be used in the genetic engineering which can be used as the passenger DNA. So the answer for this question is that that three types of the DNA can be used as a passenger DNA. The number one is the complementary DNA. Complementary DNA is also called as the cDNA. Now what is cDNA? Now the DNA which is synthesized on RNA template by the use of the reverse transcriptase enzyme is called as the cDNA. See one thing, we know that if the RNA is formed by the DNA, then the process is called as the transcription. Means when RNA is formed from DNA, so the template is what? The DNA. But here the case is different. Here in the case of the reverse transcription, there is a process called as the reverse transcription, which is opposite to the process of the transcription, where the DNA will be synthesized on RNA template by the use of reverse transcriptase engine. So what happens in the reverse transcription that a DNA is synthesized on RNA template by the use of the reverse transcriptase engine. So you can see here that the new DNA synthesized here is by the RNA with the help of the reverse transcriptase engine and the RNA and the DNA synthesized in this way is called as the complementary DNA and this complementary DNA can be used as the passenger DNA or the desired DNA in the genetic engineering. So generally we use the cDNA, we use the cDNA in genetic engineering as the desired DNA. And one thing also remember that like the blood banks, like the gene banks nowadays, we are having the gene libraries. And in gene libraries, the DNA which is stored is actually the cDNA. Okay. And whenever we, we, we want to transfer the DNA in any other organism, at that time, we can take out the cDNA from the gene libraries or the DNA libraries. Okay. So this can be used as the passenger DNA. Now the next one is the synthesizing DNA or the synthetic DNA which is also called as the sDNA. Now the question arises, what is sDNA? The DNA which is synthesized on, the DNA which is synthesized on DNA template by the use of the DNA polymerase enzyme is called as the sDNA. So here we can see that by the use of the DNA template, a new DNA is synthesized with the help of the DNA polymerase enzyme. So here the template is DNA and on this DNA template, a new DNA synthesized with the help of the DNA polymerase engine. So this newly synthesized DNA is called as the sDNA 
or the synthetic DNA or the synthesizing DNA which can be used as the desired DNA or the passenger DNA. Now one more thing, this DNA that is known as the synthetic DNA can also be synthesized uh, artificially in the laboratories without the use of the template with the help of free nucleotides means in laboratories artificially we can synthesize this as DNA by the use of the free nucleotide without any use of the template okay so sdna can also be used as a desired dna and the third one known as the random dna which is also called as capital r dash dna random dna now what is random dna a piece of the dna which is obtained by cutting the chromosome of an organism by the use of restriction endonuclease enzyme is called as the random dna means a piece of the dna which can be obtained by cutting the chromosome of an organism by the use of the restriction in the nuclease enzyme is called as the random DNA. So, uh, we must know that three DNAs can be used as passenger DNA, cDNA known as the complementary DNA, sDNA known as the synthetic DNA and the rDNA known as the random DNA. So, today we have discussed about a very important tool known as the desired DNA or the foreign DNA or the passenger DNA. We will be coming soon with few more videos based on the genetic engineering and the biotechnology. So thanks a lot. Keep watching. If you want to take the screenshot of this video, you can take.